As a child, we get to have many companions sent by our parents to warn us of the dangers of real life. Dragons, witches, trolls and facetious elves scare us to better prepare us for reality. Good guys or bad guys, heroes or enemies, each of the characters takes his role very seriously in order to meet the needs of the little ones. The villages and the woods light up, the knights wear their most beautiful armor, the princesses sing, while the leprechaun polishes his cauldron. They want to be examples to follow, they want to guide and they want to protect. But little by little, the boy or girl goes on an adventure without them, outside in the garden and then at school. Then comes that famous moment, terrible, but which is nevertheless rarely remembered. The moment when the child completely abandons all of his companions. Dragons, witches, trolls and goblins, even the most ferocious ones, then stick their heads out of their books, TV and off under the bed, a tear in the eye. The knights, princesses and fairies console them, while Peter lets out his cry and flies away. Dust, on the contrary, comes forward, all embarrassed, to take their place. Their goal has been all achieved. And only a bit of nostalgia remains, which will disappear only at the birth of a future infant. But sometimes, one child becomes more touched. One child listens. He watches the door of reality open in front of him, but he's not very excited. Because deep down, he feels that this curiosity will also mean sacrifice. And because Peter Pan has formally forbidden him to grow up after all. So why open a door if it's to close the first one? The tales did not teach him to better understand reality. Now on the contrary, the tales offered him dreams and hopes. And he will never be able to resign himself to abandon his companions. Conversely, he will rather choose in his turn to guide them and to highlight them in this new world that adult life is and to make the link between these two universes.